what you say in this video is that you're not a scientist, so don't come to you to uh, about questions of evolution. And you have this sort of faith in uh, these channels you provide. And no, I do not have faith in these channels. They are pro-science channels. The videos that are featured, which you obviously haven't bothered to watch and so your opinion doesn't matter, are heavily researched and mountains of data are presented within each of them. And, as a free service, they are broken down and explained so that lay people like you, like me, can understand them. Faith, on the other hand, would be anyone believing somebody who has not provided any data. Uh, undoubtedly Richard Dawkins, to whom you may have a shrine in your house if you were to uh, pan the camera around a little bit. No, I don't. I've been an atheist my whole life. I've only known of Richard Dawkins for the past few years. Not that any of that matters. I'm not a, you literally say, I'm not a scientist. Don't ask me about evolution. Prove God exists. Well, by prove, I'm going to assume and I may, and I don't think I'm making an ass of myself when I assume this, that you mean give you scientific proof for God's existence. Perhaps, but not necessarily. You apparently missed the point of the video. It was me telling creationists to quit trying to debunk science in place of presenting evidence for God. Because even if they could discredit scientific theories, and they can't, it still wouldn't make the God claim correct. Unfortunately, they cannot grasp this concept because they don't even understand what these scientific theories postulate in the first place. How many times have you heard some nitwit describe evolution as a dog giving birth to a cat? Or something coming from nothing? One cannot move forward in a line of discourse with such a flawed idea, on which the rest of their flimsy argument will undoubtedly be built upon. And I am sick and tired of telling these people what evolution actually is. Not just because I hate repeating myself, as I am forced to do again with you, but because I am not in the qualified position to do so. I did not say nor imply that lay people cannot understand the scientific method of testing, repeating, and observing phenomena. The other point in the video was that if someone really believed that they had something that could overturn current scientific theories, then that person would have no qualms about submitting their dissertations for expert inquiry. They wouldn't be wasting their time trying to convince lay people. That in itself is dishonest. So what do I mean by evidence? I mean something concrete, something that can be analyzed, observed, tested, and demonstrated to actually manifest in some way. Now one need not be a science major to understand this. For example, Komodo dragons were once thought to be mythical monsters, primarily because of the word dragon. That wasn't until around 1910 when their existence was finally confirmed by scientists inv investigating dragon claims in Indonesia. Same with the giant squid, which was thought of as just another sea monster, the kraken, that sailors were superstitious about until actual specimens were found. Since my last video went up a few days ago, a few people have posted personal experiences that they've concluded were divine as proof. Testimonials are easy to come by, but the problem with personal experiences is that they are personal. They are unable to be verified, examined, and more than likely repeated. They also cannot be refuted, but then no one could refute me if I claim to have reoccurring dreams about swimming the English Channel. If a personal experience has convinced you that a god exists, how do you expect your experience to convince anyone else? There is also no point in quoting Bible verses. It is a religious text and is only relevant to those who already believe that it was divinely inspired. As a non-believer, the Bible is as meaningless to me as the Tao Te Ching is to a Muslim. The only statements that were made that I found to be the most convincing for a god claim were those describing a deist god, the immovable mover that got everything rolling. I'm not convinced by this because there's no evidence of this being, nor is there any indication that intelligence exists outside of our own planet, but there very well could be. Seeing as you've made this rudimentary mistake of self ownage I would guess that you're not even ready for the philosophical argument either. No philosophy. 
there's no philosophizing on whether or not something exists. It either does or it doesn't. So if all that is left is someone's faith in a god, then just be honest and admit that. That you have no concrete evidence to present, and therefore the reasons to believe in gods are not those based on logic. And we can leave it at that. But if you are one of those who are going to keep spreading your misinformation and dishonest, blithering idiocy whenever someone asks you why they should believe as you do, then piss off.